look at what I got. New PCBs from GLC PCB. Let's take a look at what it is. It is my new black business card. So now they do offer PCB assembly in the colors, which is great. And not only that, it is thin. This is actually thinner than a credit card. I want something that looks like a business card, but that is an actual interactive business card. For PCB assembly, they need to add those. So that's easy. I'm just gonna break them. There you have it. Look at that beauty. All right, now let's go assemble it. This is on this side. The switch goes upside down so that it is actually falling in between the PCB. Not my greatest work. So what actually changed in this new design? So I replaced the capacitive touch with buttons uh, just for a better feedback. Like I, I do like, like the click on those buttons. I also changed the placement of those resistors. Now they're all in rows. I think it's a bit cleaner. And finally, I changed the, uh, the sill screen so that it would be clear that, you know, that's up to left, right, A and B. One problem that I had is that people were trying to play uh, the game like this, which is, I mean, they could, it's Snake, it's not, it doesn't really matter. But by having the letter A and B like this, they know that they have to hold the portrait mode. This connector usually goes here, right? You usually solder this to the board, but in my case, all I'm doing is I'm just putting it on and pressing against the pad. I would take my programmer, clip it on, do this like this, and I'm just pushing this way so that the pins are contacting on the pads and then I can flash it. Then I click program, it detects the uh, programmer, it's waiting for a connection. And there you go, it has flashed it. What's new in this algorithm also is that, see how it started on row three? If I turn it off and turn it on again, now it starts on row one. So it is basically reading a floating ADC pin and it's reading it 10 times. And it's gonna use that as a seed to the random number generator. And so I can have always a different starting point every time it boots because the floating pin gives me like a pseudo random seed to start with at every startup. So there you have it. PCB business card version two. Remember that all the Eagle Cat files and firmware files are all on my GitHub. Make sure you select the version two branch when you visit. Check the video description to get all the software that I use to compile the project. And on that note, thank you very much for watching. Always remember to have fun making stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.